Today we're going to look at serves and the commonalities in the mechanics of the serve. Now, I'm going to show you Roger Feder here first, and he, notice he's he's into his rhythm. The racket head gets up, and he gets his knee bend. Eyes are focused at point of contact. Finishes makes contact and then rotates his upper body through the shot. Now this is, again, let's look at it. Start, the, the left hand is extended and straight. The left arm is straight. He's starting his knee bend, which is really getting him in a launched position. And now he's gonna focus at the point of contact. Left, hand's, left hand is up. Now look at, here's his eyes still focused at contact. Eyes still there. And then he's gonna, finish the shot. So look, left arm straight, watch the knees bend, and now he's going to explode upward as he goes to strike this. And this is what makes his serve phenomenally good. You know, he's, he doesn't hit the fastest serve, but he focuses at contact, rotates the shoulders well, launches well, 120 mile an hour ball, and still one of the greatest in the game. So Rogers serve. Look at how it looks. Phenomenal. Now here's a picture sequence of the serve. Now watch. This is Stozer. She's going to let her left arm gets up a little bit ahead of her right. But now notice the knee bend and the racket behind the back. It drops. Now watch. This is a commonality that everybody has mechanically. The, the racket gets well down the back. As she starts her launch upward, the racket travels upward as well to the strike point or contact point. And notice how eyes are up. She goes, the wrist is starting to its pronation where she makes contact with the ball. And the leg launch and her body are completely in midair towards the target or towards the court. Again, another good serve. <laughs> Now here's Novak. Now notice he's going to start the downward movement of the racket. Left hand is up, eyes focused, knees bent. Here he goes to strike the ball. He finishes well in front in front of the baseline and he backs up to recover so he's ready for the ground stroke or the return. Notice again, commonality. Starting point, racket left hand gets up, racket head is beginning to drop or start its take up and now it's going to bypass both the left and right shoulder blade. At this point, the contact point is fully extended, arms, heads up, eyes are on contact. Now, again, here it is. Now look at the look at the movement. Commonality, left hand up, racket head does the circle behind the back in the launch position. Now look at racket starts its drop, point of contact, eyes up perfect and finishes into the court. Novak, another great serve. Ivanovic, notice again, arms sequence, racket bypasses the shoulder blades, good loop, good contact point, good finish. Again, beautiful serve. Racket goes down, left hand travels up, left arm is extended or straight. Now watch the racket head as she starts to coil and she's doing a pinpoint stance. Racket bypasses left shoulder blade, then it goes past the right as it travels upward to the contact and then she explodes forward and into the court as she makes contact 
and finishes well inside the court. That's a good foot and a half. The, her leg launch is really giving her the power there to get the racket head through and her body towards the court. Again, great serve, racket head down the back, commonality, good launch. Look at how her body lean is over the plane of the baseline. And there's a beautiful follow through. Here's Taylor Fritz. Watch the movement again. Good extension, commonalities. Okay, here's the racket, here's the ready position. Legs are bending. Racket starting its take up. Good loop behind the back. Look at the racket head, bypass the shoulder blades. Eyes up, contact point in front of the baseline. Weight going forward and upward. So notice how his his eyes are still there, accelerating the racket head from well behind the back, contact point, then follow through. Another good serve. I guess you can't say enough about this lady's serve. It's probably one of the biggest weapons in women's tennis in the history of the game. Now, what happens is she does all the same things everybody else does. She, you know, keeps her eyes up, the left arm's extended, so her ball pitch is consistent. She does a, uh, a pinpoint stance where she brings the leg up, and now she's in her launch position. And now the racket head's gonna bypass the left and right shoulder blade circle, head up at point of contact, look at the strike well in front, excellent follow through with body weight forward. That's why the girl, she can serve 120. Come on, this is, this is one of the greatest shots in women's tennis. And again, she's, again, a powerful lady, but Serena, unbelievable serve and one of the biggest weapons ever. Commonality, look at how the racket gets cocked circles or bypasses the shoulder blades, point of contact extended, and then good follow through and good weight transfer. Now this is Monfils. Um, unbelievable leg launch. This guy's just a tremendous athlete. Now, I want to watch again the serve, but look at how this guy, uh, he's just finishing the stroke. Now here's the stroke again, let's look at it. He starts a little bit differently and he brings it up out to the side. Left hand is extended again, but again, look the knees start to bend. The racket head's going to drop well behind the back and, and bypass the shoulder blades or circle. Now his eyes are up. Now notice the contact point, extension, legs off the ground. But look at, look at how he uses his body, you know, and uses his weight to launch upward as he goes to strike the ball. This makes him one of the most, you know, lethal servers in the game. Again, it's, it's hard to read, but he... He finishes well into the court. What an athlete. Again, commonalities in the serve.